Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Mosse Cybersecurity Institute. In today's video, we're going to have a look at how to approach a practical exercise in MCSI's online learning platform. And the exercise we're going to look at today is to use Dumpzilla to extract forensics browser logs. So if you're new to the platform or you haven't seen one of our practical exercises before, the best way to view them is that they're designed as a industry problem statement. So imagine your manager has come to you and asked you, hey, I need you to use Dumpzilla to extract forensics browser logs. So as a security professional, as part of a security team, you're expected to be able to research the solution yourself develop a solution that meets the requirements of the task you've been assigned and produce an outcome. Your manager is not going to sit there and give you the slides where you can copy what's there or like in a PDF uh, and uh, do it or sit with you and walk you through all the steps on how to do it. You really need to do it yourself and be able to do your own research. And that's why all of our exercises are designed to teach you to solve these industry problem statements in a practical way like you would uh, in the industry. So when you start an exercise, the best uh, way that I like to approach them is to really understand the exercise from the outset. So this is a security tools exercise. So you, you wanna ask questions like, what is this tool? So what is Dumpzilla? When would it be used? And how is this tool used? Questions like that are really important to really understand a bit of background of the tool um, and just like, you know, how it's used will help you use the tool to complete the exercise and meet all the specifications that we have. Um, instead of diving, you know, he uh, head first into the exercise and maybe getting a bit lost on the second or third specification, understanding it from the uh, start really, really helps, I found. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the exercise here. We've got a bit of a description and uh, what it is. So Dumpzilla is a tool that extracts forensics information from browser profile logs. And we have our actions and specifications here and some references. So to complete this exercise, you need to download and install Dumpzilla, capture and download the browser profile directory, extract the cookies, history, bookmarks, and the add-ons. So let's get started with the research. So this is the first reference we've provided. You can download Dumpzilla. This is its website. There's a manual. There's some screenshots if you want to look and see how it is used. And let's have a look at the other reference now, which is the one we'll use for most of today's video, which is the Dumpzilla package description page. So I'm just going to scroll through it, but ideally when you're completing this exercise the first time, you'll read through it all to understand the tool. There's some examples of the options you can use when you're using the tool and a usage example on how to use the tool. Okay, so by reading through that, you actually learn that Dumpzilla is pre-installed on Kali Linux machines. So I'm using a Kali machine, so we can tick that off. Um, if you are using something else, then you can just install it. The next specification is to capture and download the browser profile directory of a user that is used in one of the browsers supported by Dumpzilla. So this is a Firefox browser I'm using, which is supported. And you'll know that, oh, okay, I read through this. I saw something about uh, profiles here. So that's what we want to look for. So let's go open my terminal and let's find that profile. What did I do? Ah. Cool. And let's see what's there. And you can see that the profile is a kind of random uh, letters and numbers with dot default at the end. And let's grab that and copy it. Cool. Let's tick off that specification. And now we want to extract browser cookies. So you've done your research and uh, answered the question you asked of how to use it. So you go, okay, I saw in the options, there was a cookies option. So, and th then I also saw that in the usage example, this is how you use it, but they've used the all option in the example. So all I need to do is, is follow the example they've provided, but change this to cookies. So let, let's do that. So let's go. Just 
and we've got the profile we can paste in and cookies and that's it so it's, it's extracted 150 cookies i uh, can go through and have a look at them but you can see it's got the domain the host the expiry last access uh, creation time and so what you would do is go through and do this for cookies which we just did history bookmarks extract the list of add-ons and then what would happen is you do a screen recording to show that you've done this exercise, you've got a working solution, you've met all of our specifications and you will submit it to our team of instructors and we'll review it, provide any feedback if we need and say, you know, good job, well done, uh, you pa you've passed. And then what will happen is you'll receive a certificate of completion. So every exercise in the platform has a certificate of completion. And this is the one I received for when I completed this same exercise, use Dumpzilla to extract forensics browser logs. And these are really great because you can share it on your LinkedIn, on your Twitter, uh, send it to your manager or a recruiter or anyone, anyone you want really just to show that, oh, hey, I know how to use Dumpzilla to extract forensics browser logs. This is a skill that I have. And the great thing about the exercises is that because as you've seen it's 100% practical it's a skill that you can actually take once you do the exercise and immediately apply in the field uh, so that's the video for today I hope this really helped you learn a bit of a approach on how to tackle these practical exercises and solve uh, industry problem statements uh, let us know if you have any questions uh, our email is on the screen we do have an online forum so you can always jump into and ask us questions there and i hope i see lots of exercise submissions coming through uh, for this exercise soon thank you